Now, I've been known to watch TV from time to time, but recently two shows have been on my mind. Those shows are the reality show Hoarders and the pseudo-history show Ancient Aliens. While I've been watching these shows, I've noticed that I feel some very specific emotions, and I think I finally figured out why. In case you've never watched the shows, let me give you the official rundown. Hoarders is a reality TV show. Each episode, it follows two people with hoarding disorder, a very real mental disorder on the OCD spectrum where people collect things until your life is saturated with the items, even when the items are hazardous or even deadly. The show tends to focus on how the disorder affects their lives. The first half of the episode always focuses on how horrible their lives have become, and the second half follows a crew of professionals as they attempt to help them over the course of a few days. Compare this to Ancient Aliens, a show modeled after a classic history documentary if a history documentary were written by your distant uncle who drinks. Each episode takes you into some ancient civilization, and you could honestly fool yourself into thinking it was an actual documentary if it weren't for the 180 that happens about one-third of the way through the episode of every show. Here's how it happens every time. Here's some interesting facts about ancient civilizations that we know. Cool! There's some things that we don't know, though. Well, that's okay. I'm sure someone with a PhD is working on it. But what if it's aliens? Wait, what? Every time just leaps from there are things we often personally don't know to would be cool if it were aliens, wouldn't it? And that's the show. Basically just three guys without degrees in the fields necessary to get answers just asking questions to make their cases. Here's the thing that I realized when I watched these two shows though. Ancient aliens makes me sad, while hoarders leaves me feeling happy? Why is that? Well lucky for you, I overanalyze things. Hoarders objectively centers the plot of each episode around human misery, yet it doesn't make me sad, and here's why. Each episode begins with a show showing you just how much the people who are at the focus of the episode are suffering. All of them have felt some kind of personal tragedy, some so great that I can hardly imagine. Often so many of them feel completely alone in the world, and that's why they end up hoarding. But here's where the show gains its magic. As soon as we find out how horrible they feel, we hear from their family and their friends. They get to talk to a therapist. The cleaning crew shows up to help them, often with their family there in tow. Every time we get to see how even the angriest person is surrounded by family and friends ready to help, sometimes even if they haven't talked to them in years. Each episode is framed to show how, even when they don't realize it, even the most isolated person isn't really alone. There are always so many people ready to drop everything to help them, often people they don't even expect. Look, I'll level with you. This is a reality TV show. Only so much of it can be believed. But honestly, my favorite moments of the show are the ones that happen completely by happenstance. Connections made by the universe and acts of kindness made by complete strangers that are so incredibly beautiful that words really fail to describe them. Then I start watching Ancient Aliens again. Here's the thing about Ancient Aliens. You don't watch it for history or because you think they've got a good idea. You watch it because it's funny and it's entertaining to think about a weird universe where aliens came and got humans started. That's the point. I more than once watched it just for that reason. But here's what happens when you watch more than one episode in a sitting. It starts making you sad. And that's because the idea the show is trying to put across is every time human beings came up with something interesting, the answer was actually aliens. And that sounds cool until you think about the implications. Anything that aliens taught humanity, humanity never came up with, obviously. When you apply this to more and more episodes of Ancient Aliens, you start to wonder, what do ancient astronaut theorists believe humans actually created? Yeah, I can do that too, George. Writing? Aliens. Math? Aliens. Airplanes? Aliens. Piling things up in a general, symmetrical way? Aliens. I think I tried once to make a list of things humanity invented and just check them off as I watched seasons of Agent Aliens, but I checked things off the list so fast in season one that I thought the only thing we'd get to keep was religion and war, but no, there were episodes that covered that, so we don't even get to keep that. There's also a weird undertone that just makes you want to yell, just because they weren't white doesn't mean they couldn't have figured it out, David. And don't think I'm giving Von Daniken a pass for inspiring Stargate. In the end, this is why Ancient Aliens makes me sad and Hoarders doesn't. Ancient Aliens grabs you by the shoulders and screams, every human achievement was hand-fed to us by a higher power. There's nothing special about you, and the secrets of the universe will be forever out of your reach. And Hoarders takes people objectively in the depths of misery and reminds you 
hey, nobody's truly alone and everybody matters. Also therapy, get therapy, that's important.